old friend. Can't believe that 50 years has gone by already. Visited George last year. They maintain the graves well over there. Nice to know that 50 years on, somebody still cares. Remembers what he died for. I used to think you lucky. They allowed your body to be brought home. Especially after what happened. My darling Mary, I cannot begin to describe how much I am missing you. I write this letter on the first day in the trench. We awoken an hour before dawn and take our positions on the fire step to guard against the morning raid. The morning hate. Machine gun fire and shells are sent into the mist to relieve the tension. I am so scared, my love. I can only hope that my courage does not fail me and my friends can keep me strong. All my love, Eddie. My God, it was beautiful. Moors stretching into the distance as far as the eye could see. Rivers creeping through in front of a golden sunrise. What about you, Eddie? What do you miss most about home? My Mary, of course. She is truly beautiful. I just, I find it so hard to picture her. I mean, how can any beauty be thought of here? Try to think of her in a specific context. A moment or memory we share together. Remember she is the one you're fighting for. And when we go home, she'll be your reward. What makes you so sure we'll go home? I can't think like that. Here. It's the only way I can think. I'm not as strong as you or Arthur. It's all in the mind. You can do it if you try. I have tried. There are some things that are just beyond the impossible. Eddie, we've known you for the best part of 15 years. You're strong. Don't let it get to you. You knew me before we were called up to serve. War changes people. War certainly changed me. What happened to Eddie now, sir? Okay. I've said this before. Never once thought of you as a coward. In the First World War, 306 British and Commonwealth soldiers were executed 
for crimes including desertion and cowardice. The names of these soldiers were forbidden to appear on any war memorials. After a long campaign by relatives of those executed, in 2006, the British government pardoned them for their crimes.